And Action News reporter Kim Russell begins our team severing coverage with the legalities of trying to overturn the election. Kim? Michigan is at the center of President Donald Trump's effort to win the election. And because he is trying to do so in a way that none of us have ever seen in our lifetime, there are a lot of questions. One of the big questions is, what exactly is he trying to do? President Donald Trump's campaign leaders have explained why the president invited Republican State Senator Mike Shirky and Representative Lee Chatfield to the White House today. President Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, says the goal is to get votes in Wayne County decertified due to fraud allegations in a lawsuit that a judge has ruled lacks evidence. So you see a change as a result of the, of the, of the election in, in Michigan, if you take out Wayne County. It is an, a blatant attempt to use, uh, you know, means other than the voter's choice to determine uh, the awarding of electoral votes. University of Michigan political science professor Ken Coleman says if the unofficial 154,000 vote victory for Joe Biden is not certified, the Michigan legislature would be called on to select electors. The next question is, is it legal for electors to ignore the results of the popular vote in Michigan? Michigan law seen here requires they follow popular vote. But it is something that has never been challenged in court. By tradition and by norm, possibly by law, that's the questionable part. Uh, it's they're supposed to honor the will of the people, that is the voters. What would the ramifications be? Professor Coleman says there would likely be political consequences and protests. He says if our State Department saw this happen in another country, there would be concerns for that country's democracy. It would look at this as um, an incumbent uh, trying to. Uh, thwart the will of the the people and the and the typical election process and cling to power using whatever means that he can. So what are the odds of this plan working? Well, our state's legislative leaders have said that they will respect the popular vote. So they would have to do an about face on that. Plus, legal experts say it is a long shot. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.